The Lake Show blazed through Portland last night, but what speaks a thousand words is the players only meeting after the win. The players have won two of the last three championships together and they believe in themselves and the freedom they should be given on offense. But on the contrary, Coach Mike Brown coming in with the new system has micromanaged the offense, drawing criticism from Andrew Bynum and Meta World Peace. Kobe has been outspoken all season long in defense of his teammates, mainly Pau Gasol, and is pushing Jim Buss to fix what he has broken since his father stepped aside. GM Mitch Kupchak expects to stand pat and not make any moves, but many feel his hands are tied with the trade deadline approaching. Jason Kidd passed Michael Jordan on the all-time list for steals. He is now number two behind John Stockton. Kidd had three steals and a win over Boston and will be a future Hall of Famer. Unfortunately, injuries are part of sports and Greg Oden found out the hard way. He is going to need a third surgery on his left knee. The former number one pick can't stay healthy and his NBA career may never really get started. Portland and his family are heartbroken, but the 24-year-old wants to give it another shot in a couple years after healing. Best of luck to the big man and his recovery. Speaking of recovery... Tony Gwynn was interviewed after it took 14 hours to remove a tumor in his cheek. The cancer has not spread and he feels blessed at his immediate progress. You should check out the great interview by Darren Smith of San Diego's XX1090 with Tony Gwynn. Sticking with baseball, the Seattle Mariners are moving Ichiro to hit third in the lineup. Ichiro has led off for the Mariners for the past decade. And the Los Angeles Dodgers center fielder Matt Kemp says he shouldn't be given the NL MVP by default. Remember, Ryan Braun tested positive for performance enhancement and Kemp finished second in the voting.